So this will be our last video of the week, and I just wanted to break this apart from the old one. And I think it's kind of a neat story. So aluminum used to be considered the most precious of metals. And if you look around, you think, well, so many things are made of aluminum. I don't see what's so special and shiny and precious about it. It turns out aluminum is exceptionally hard to make. In fact, up until just a few hundred years ago, it was almost impossible to make anything other than the smallest of smallest of quantities. And even those cost a lot of money. So... Prior to about 1855, aluminum was actually more expensive than gold. In fact, it's said that Napoleon III had a set of cutlery made out of aluminum, and when he really wanted to impress people, he would take it out and show them. So, ooh, shiny. Um, the top of the Washington Monument is actually made of cast aluminum, and at the time it was the largest piece of aluminum in existence. And it was made out of aluminum because it was the most precious of metals. And it was thought that if we were going to sort of celebrate the founding of the United States, we should use an incredibly expensive metal, even more expensive than gold or silver or platinum, and that is aluminum. And after about 1855, the electrolysis process was invented. There was actually an undergraduate student who was paying attention in chemistry and thought, gosh, electrochemistry, that might be a way to solve this problem. And uh, he actually patented the idea, and uh, the Alcoa Company, the Aluminum Company of America, was derived from his original patent and made a lot of money. And now aluminum is so cheap and easy to produce, it's pretty much everywhere, and we don't take it for granted. That up until quite recently, it was an exceptionally rare and difficult material to have. So that's, at least, that's an interesting story. And I always tell people, imagine you went back in time. If you grabbed a can of soda and went back in time a couple of hundred years, that can of soda, the soda itself would be pretty worthless, although fizzy water is kind of interesting. But the aluminum itself would be worth many thousands of dollars, and you could probably live very comfortably off the proceeds of that one can. So that's the end of the story, and that's the end of this chapter, and I suspect that's the end of my video lectures. So congratulations, you made it. Good job.